Hi class, good morning. How are you today? Fine, sir. You? Okay, I'm fine as well. I'm very excited because today we are on our fourth quarter in our science class. Are you all excited? Yes, sir. Okay, welcome to Science 7 class to the Earth and Space. I am your teacher. I'm Vince Harold L. Pingo. Before we proceed to our discussion, let us first have a prayer. Bow down your heads and feel the presence of our Creator. God, thank you for giving us this wonderful day. Forgive our sins and guide us all the time. Amen. Today is a very great day because it's sunny and all of you are well-groomed. Now let's proceed to our attendance checking. I want you to think a specific word that describes your day today. And when I call your name, say that word, okay? Ana Teresa Zote. Excited, sir. Okay, very good. Everyone is present. I hope that you are all excited because our topic for today is interesting and I know for a fact that you will love the topic. For our class today, the most essential learning competency is to cite and explain ways of using Earth's resources sustainably. For our lesson objectives today, at the end of the lesson, the students will be able to first, identify the different natural resources of the Earth. Second, demonstrate the ways of sustaining the Earth's resources. And lastly, the third is to create a mini project that promotes protection and conservation of Earth's natural resources. Now, let's proceed to our little activity which we call the drill. I want you to listen carefully about the sound, okay? Now, let's hear the sound. What do you think is the sound? The sound is a running water, sir. Okay, the sound is a running water. Now, aside from running water, what can you feel about the sound? The sound is refreshing. Okay, the sound is very refreshing. That is good. Now, let us recall your understanding from the previous lesson. From the previous lesson, we talk about the environment. Now, I want you to remember, what do you think is the importance of our environment? It gives us food, sir. Okay, thank you, Ms. Teresa. Now, why do you think that our environment is important for our daily living? Because it sustains our living, sir. That's very great. We really need the environment because it is the one that sustains our living. Like giving us food, giving us the air that we breathe. Okay? Now, let's have a little activity again to motivate ourselves. Let's motivate ourselves by doing the activity, the riddle. I want you to listen carefully to the riddle and try to understand what the riddle conveys. Okay? First riddle, I touch your face. I'm in your words. I lack of space. And I'm beloved by birds. What do you think is the answer? Air, sir. Very good. The answer is air. Okay, I think all of us are now motivated. Let's now move to our first major activity, which we call the picture gap. Direction, place the picture on the table that matches the given word provided. Okay, let's now move to the activity. Okay, let's now answer the activity. The first word given is the hunger, second is thirst, and third is food shortage. So what do you think is the first image all about? Okay, the first image is thirst. The second image, food shortage. The third image, hunger. The seventh image is hunger. The eighth image is food shortage. And the last image is hunger. Let's now move to analysis. I want you to analyze the activity so that you will be able to answer these questions. First question, what do you think is the image all about? It's about problems of the world, sir. Okay, thank you. The image for you is all about problems that our world is facing right now. Second question, what do you think is the reason behind these problems? Okay? It's about too much consumption. Okay. The reason behind these problems is that they have been a lot of consumption when it comes to our needs. That's why there are a lot of problems existing right now, such as food shortage. Uh, the third question we have, how can we help to address these problems? Mr. Eric, how can you address these problems? By conserving, sir. Okay, Mr. Eric Joseph is right. We can help address these problems by conserving what we have such as food. Okay, class, let's now move to our topic for today. Our topic for today is, what do you think, guys? Yes. Environment, sir. 
Okay, environment. But our topic for today is specifically the Philippine environment, the protection and conservation of natural resources. We all know that we have two different types of resources. From the past lesson, we tackled about those. What do you think are those? Renewable and renewable, sir. Okay, we have renewable and non-renewable resources. When we say renewable resources, those are resources that can be regenerated even if we use them a lot. While non-renewable resources are resources that cannot be readily replaced. So after that we consume all of those, if all of it will be gone, then it cannot be replaced by something else. Those are the meaning of renewable and renewable resources. I want you guys to give me an example of renewable resources. How about Miss Marjorie? Biomass. Okay, biomass energy is an example of renewable resources. Also, the hydropower energy, geothermal power, wind energy, and solar energy, and other more resources. Now, let's move to non-renewable. Can you give me an example of non-renewable resources, Miss Hannah? Oil, sir. Okay, an example of non-renewable resources is oil or natural gas. Also, we have the coil and the nuclear energy and other more resources. Now, let's move on to the Earth's natural resources. Specifically, think about the Earth's natural resources in our setting in the Philippines. Think about our resources. What are our natural resources that we have and we consume? Can you give me an example, Ms. Dia? Plants, sir. Okay, an example of natural resources is air, water, soil, minerals, fuels, plants, and animals, and other more resources. Okay, all of those things mentioned and other resources are very important to human survival because we consume all of those things in order for us to survive. And all of those things are the natural resources that we consume. Natural resources are very central to human well-being because we cannot live without them. We cannot live without drinking water per day or without eating a food. That's why we need to take care of all of those natural resources because over-exploitation can result to harmful effects to humans, especially scarcity of water, energy, and other more resources. In order for us to use resources sustainably, we have a lot of ways in order for us to do that. Can you give me an example? Conservation, sir. Okay, Mr. Gary, that's really good. We need to preserve and conserve. Conservation is the practice of caring for these resources. We need to conserve our resources because we are not the ones who are only consuming all of those. So we need to conserve our resources as a whole, as a human race, so that we can maintain and sustain our resources for the next generation. Did you know class that sustainable resource use happen when we consume sustainably without damaging the earth? So we have first, in order for us to sustain, we have to use renewable resources. We have to use renewable resources such as wind, solar energy instead of non-renewable resources like fossil fuels. Second, use those resources that are less harmful to the environment. And third, cut back the amount that we use of natural resources, in particular non-renewable resources because it cannot be replaced. According to oceanservice.noaa.gov, there are 10 simple ways that you can do to help protect the earth or the resource that we have right now in the Philippines. First, reduce, reuse, recycle. Second, volunteer. Third, educate. Fourth, conserve water. Fifth, choose sustainability. Shop wisely. Use long-lasting light bulbs to be specific. Eighth, plant a tree. Next, don't send chemical into waterways. And lastly, bike more and drive less. Okay, I want you to expand all of those 10 simple ways. Reduce, reuse, recycle. We already know that we really need to use our things and reuse, reduce, recycle waste so that we can live sustainably. Volunteer, we need to volunteer to charity works, to community services, to tree planting campaigns, and all of other things that will help the benefit of the environment. Educate, we need to educate ourselves so that we would be aware of what is happening in our surroundings. Now, conserve water, can you explain us, Mr. Eric? Don't use too much, sir. 
okay, conserve water, you're correct. Choose sustainability, again, live sustainably by really thinking about our choices. Next, shop wisely, which means that we really need to consume products very wisely. Next, use long-lasting light bulbs so that we can really conserve energy. Next, we have plant a tree or reforestation. We need all of those things, especially in the Philippines. We have a lot of mining industries. Next, don't send chemical into waterways to avoid um, water spillage. And lastly, buy more, drive less. So if you're going to a grocery store or if you if you want to visit a friend, if if it's not that really far, we can we can use bike, bicycle, or we can just walk to have an exercise. So all of those things are the ten simple ways that we can help to protect the earth. Okay? Do you have any question? Sir, all of those things are applicable in the Philippines. Okay. In the Philippines setting. All of those mentioned things are very important because we are experiencing, especially global warming right now, we are experiencing global warming, scarcity of food, water, and other more things. It is very important because in the Philippines, we experience such crisis. Now let's move to your application. For the part one, we have the true or false. Write T if the statement is true and write F if the statement is a fallacy. Write your answer in a one-fourth sheet of paper. I will only give you two minutes to answer because these questions are just very easy. Okay? Okay, your time starts now. I think all of you are now done, so now let's answer. First question, if we recycle, we can conserve natural resources. The answer is true. Second question, if we plant new trees, it will only cost much time. No, it's false. Although there are times that we really need to have time management, but planting tree will not cost that much time because we will only be the ones who will benefit from it. Third question, conserve energy at home is just a false belief. False, it's false. As you can remember, we have the Earth R when we conserve energy at home. Fourth, we can't drive because our vehicle are rules. False. We have a lot of pollution right now in our country, so we need to drive less. Fifth item, recycled materials are bad. Recycled materials are not bad, especially the producers of such products really assures all of us that it is safe. So... That's it for our application for our part one. Wow, all of you get perfect score. Very good. Now, the exciting part of our application is we have what we call the mini project. For the direction, create a mini project in your local area that will help your locality protect and preserve resources. Explain your project briefly. Follow the format below. We have the project name, your local area, your purpose, why is your project relevant for sentences only? And how is your project helpful in your locality for sentences only? I will only give you five minutes and after that, I will call someone to share his or her ideas, okay? Okay, I think all of you are now done. Am I right? Yes, sir. Okay, may I call on Miss Lisa? Can you tell us what are your ideas about your mini project? My project is visitation in Butuan City, sir, to give food to less fortunate people. Okay, very great, Ms. Lisa. I love that your mini project is very timely and relevant. All of you did a very great job. A round of applause to everyone. Okay, now let's now recall a lesson. Going back, let's have the generalization. First, we have renewable and non-renewable resources. Can you tell us what are renewable and non-renewable resources? Those are replaceable and unreplaceable resources. Okay, very great, Ms. Kaysen. You're actually you're right. Renewable resources are resources that can be replaced and non-renewable are the ones who cannot be replaced. Next, we have the Earth's natural resources. Can you give me an example? Air, sir. Okay, very good. How about sustainable resource use? Kindly give me an example out of those three. Cut back the use of natural resources, sir. Okay, very great. Now we have the conservation. What is your idea about conservation? Why do you think that we need to conserve? To sustain our living, sir. Very good. Now lastly, we have the 10 simple ways that you can do to help protect the Earth. Or our country, the Philippines. Now give me an example of the 10 ways. Give me three examples. Volunteer, educate, and shop wisely. Okay, very good. Very good class. I think you really have understood the topic very well. I'm proud of all of you. Now, for your assessment, 
let's do the building up. So list the possible ways to preserve the Earth's resources in your locality. But now, this time, we have a specific Earth's resources. I will give you only two minutes because we'll be going to answer these with only two sentences per resources, okay? Time starts now. Okay, may I call on Miss Marjorie? What is your idea about what are the possible ways to preserve and protect? Save it here so that other people can use Very great. You really did a great job, guys, of understanding about our lesson for today. Now for your assignment, let's do an essay. For the direction, describe the following images according to your understanding and provide your insights on how to combat the problem in the image provided. And now let's not forget the rubric. So first, for the current rubrics, we have first relevance of the ideas, 30%, content explanation, 30%, grammar usage, 20%, insights and ideas, shared 20%. So for the score, we have 8 to 10 exemplary, 5 to 7 proficient, 1 to 4 satisfactory. So basically refer your answers to these criteria and scoring rubrics. So I would expect you that you would read this rubric. That's it class for our discussion for today. A round of applause to everyone. I'm very glad that you're all present and I am sure that our class today is very interesting because it will help you really become a very good and law-abiding citizen. Once again, I'm your teacher. I'm teacher Vince Harald Alpingal. Goodbye everyone. Have a good day.